Jesus, what rally is this? And where's Donald Trump? Um, these guys are actually looking to sell, 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 sell. Always be selling, have no ego, kill or be killed. Oh, it don't, I almost got to that point. But there is definitely this feel of a militarization of these folks looking to sell, sell. What the hell are they selling? Jesus, this is all done by the Elliott Group, and they teach folks how to effing sell. Here's some of their uh, some details of what they're about. The Elliott Group. Is the fastest growing automotive sales training company in the world, bro. Andy and Jacqueline Elliott started their sales training company in 2011. The Elliott Group is currently doing business in 127 different countries and is growing like wildfire with their high energy 21st century training. This is again from the Elliott Group. So the company also is run by Andy, which we saw there screaming in the middle of that video there, and his wife Jacqueline. Here, meet Andy. He's the founder. He started selling cars when he was 18 years old and he realized fast. That without sales training, he would never be more than average at best. <sighs> Let's jump down to the bottom because he said he's awesome. He really was dedicated and he became a super, super salesman. And he broke the record in the US for the most money made as a car salesman at $715,000 in one year. Here, meet Jacqueline, his wife. She's just as badass as he is. She started selling cars when she was 21. Man, he got three years on her. And broke every record in her store selling cars. Then she moved to the finance department and dominated shattering all company wide records. And she ran numbers so damn high that they would try to change her pay plan every three months because of the insane numbers that she was running. I have no ego, damn it. But together they put their whole thing together and now they teach people how to do this as well. Let's watch more from their seminars because they teach you how to sell. Watch. You're gonna have people that don't believe me. You get me? How many of you grew up without anybody believing in me? I grew up that way, okay? I grew up that way. I didn't have anybody believe in me. I can look in some of your faces right now and I see that you don't believe. And you know what's even worse than that? I look at some of your faces and you don't understand how important it is to believe. And I'm telling you right now, you're still like this. And you're gonna walk back out this door the same. You're gonna keep making the same paycheck and you're gonna keep being a little and making excuses. <laughs> What if you just said, can I get a better price? And I'm like, eh, I don't know, we only mark him up a couple hundred. Oh, see, now I've given you hope for a better deal. Do you feel me? What does he want now? I want a better deal. And now he smells blood, okay? What's he gonna do? He's gonna go in for the kill. And you're gonna get slaughtered, son, because you gave me hope. There's so much here, Burbank. I, I sold cars for about a, a month and a half. This is while I was still working at TYT, by the way. I had 21 jobs between graduating college and then coming full time here while I was still doing the, the odd stuff here. So I've done this stuff. Um, but one thing you have to know, a customer's coming for blood. I mean, admittedly, you wanna know how bad inflation is? Yesterday, yes, I had a nice lunch at Taco Bell, cost me about $28 at Taco Bell for lunch. People need to pay for those things and they do that by getting jobs and getting in the economy and getting active and getting involved. Wait a minute, you spent $28 at yeah. Taco Bell for just yourself? <laughs> For lunch, yeah, it's really? it's true. <laughs> okay. Neil Cavuto couldn't believe it. That guy's name Scott uh, Scott Martin is that guy's name, and he just complained about the inflation and the price of food and everything. I went to Taco Bell, I spent thirty dollars. To be fair, he said he spent twenty eight dollars at Taco Bell, bro. I know fast food is not cheap like we always consider it to be, but I think this is a little bit egregious. So you know what happened? We have a crack team here, and they uh dug deep. Speaking of deep dives, Jordan, they dove deep to find out exactly what you can get from Taco Bell for 28 effing dollars. And um, I want you to again, keep your stomachs in mind as you think about this. So $28 at Taco Bell gets you nine Chipotle Ranch grilled chicken burritos. They're three bucks each. See if you can pack nine of those into your stomach. There's more, maybe you want something a little bit bigger, maybe more specialty items so you don't have to have as many. Three spicy double steak grilled cheese burritos you can get. Uh -uh -uh. Also a Chipotle Ranch grilled chicken burrito and three Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Now again, to be fair to those who may eat all this, uh, you don't have to get three Mountain Dew Baja Blast. You can get a Mountain Dew Baja Blast, maybe you can get the cherry, then maybe you can get the strawberry too. Sometimes they have happy hour where you can get the frost, the, the slushies and Mountain Dew Blast as well. It's amazing, but it still only costs a dollar. Adding to your $28 uh, fee. There's more though. Maybe you want to go small. Maybe you're driving for longer distances and you need something that's not as messy and you can quickly jam into your face. 19 times though for the 19 cheesy roll ups that you can get for 28 bucks as long as you add the cinnamon twists at the end if you're a fan of dessert. 
Um, <laughs> you Taco Bell fan? Taco Bell. Fan. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I love it. I love the graphic design. Also, just uh, <laughs> cheers all around. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a contrarian. I'm with this guy. He wants to live <laughs> moss. Like, let him. Like, it's let him eat a lot. I don't, I don't care. I don't see what the big deal is. It's kind of funny, but all these people were like cracking on him, and he's like, like, just oh, why are you? Why are you spending twenty eight dollars at Taco Bell? Because it tastes good. That's why. Like, what, what do you want? Like, at also, what point? My first thought was that he just got it delivered. But maybe if he, if oh. he didn't, then he's just eating a lot, which good for him. Live Moss, man. Maybe it's the delivery fees. So he should have a beef with the delivery fees because by the way, I hate all these delivery things. I'm still old school. I'm like, hey, somebody wants some food, I'm going to pick it up. I'm just, I'm still there. Um, but by the way, again, of that 28 bucks worth of 19 cheesy roll ups, you might have a problem that this one particular person had. I'm gonna go through this really fast. Because one California woman, she submitted this complaint to Iwaspoisoned.com. Talking about Taco Bell, a local Taco Bell where this happened to her, where she was laid out. She goes, I feel like I'm on the brink of death. I ate four crunch wraps from there yesterday, and I haven't been able to move without vomiting since. I think I know the problem. It feels like everything is moving in slow motion, and I just want this to end. It's been 24 hours. Symptoms, she lists, vomiting. 